Okay, hopefully you're still there. I don't know what happened there. Uh, man, my friendship. So we're going to say not much of a sword arm. So I'm not really sure what is happening. If you're there or not there. On. Golden Nug. This will synchronize your collectibles across games. What? Sure, I guess. I'm not really sure what that means. But, okay. That was startling. Oh, okay, so we got a lot of, uh, got our little workbench here. So where is someone else we can talk to? That is all I was really trying to find out. Okay, Cole, I'm surprised he's still with us. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Oh, there's Cole behind him. Glimmering, glittering, perfect cut, mask, a maze of gemstones. She will think it pretty. Excuse me, I might, um... <laughs> I appreciate the help getting him elsewhere. He wants stones the color of his eyes. Happy, bright, beaming, being seen, not seeing. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? <laughs> Birds like breadcrumbs. Oh, well, Liliana's crows. Inquisitor, how good to see you here. I came to sit and pen another song. Oh, this is Mary Bell. Songs, poignant pain plants joy that grows later. She can't see me. I help her help people. I gathered. Ooh, does Cole have a girlfriend? You're smart and kind. You're worthy of true love. Hello, Halam Shiraz. The fire <laughs> of Sither must be fueled by wine, ideally shared with adoring fans. It's a mistake, but one you might enjoy. The famous Zither. I love all your songs, although I've never heard you sing yourself. Well then, this could be a chance for both of us to make <laughs> a little music. What do you look like under there? Nicely done, Cole. Okay, done with him. Discovered the gilded horn. Okay, now who can we talk to? Is he in here? Oh. Is there a door? Oh, here we go. He's in the bar, of course. Oh, the Golden Horn. Gilded Horn, I guess that's the name of this bar, maybe. Well, there's Sarah. Good, we can talk to her. Get her out of the way. Inquisitor Herald. Glad to be back, though. Whatever it is, this lot have shoved up. Ah, oh, Iron Bull's tending bar. <laughs> right up in there. That's it. It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about. Yep. Okay. Oh, how's it going? What are you doing here, tending bar? Hey, boss. That's all. Hey, boss. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> we don't have to talk to him very long. Uh, so we talked to Sarah. We talked to Bull. We talked to Cole. Who is this? Did we talk to Josephine? I think we. Didn't talk to Josephine. Uh, so now we got to find our way back through, maybe back out the door. Thank you, last one. As usual, I didn't actually 
Uh, I'm not sure I knew I was gone. I think my internet, something was going on. I don't know. Buffering a lot and then got it back again. So you guys didn't miss anything. Just a lot of chitty chatting with all the people here. All right, wait. We came up here to talk to, so I think we got to go to these stairs over here. Trying to find everybody. I think we're almost done, hopefully. Okay, here's Josephine. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Huh. Would you walk with me? I sure. I'd like to take some air before the exalted council becomes inescapable. <laughs> I don't love this part, but I feel like you kind of got to do it to get the backstory. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. <laughs> Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. Sort of, yeah. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, so are we having the night out right now? Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> kind of makes me wish I uh, had finished talking to everyone first. in gold playing a king who was the man in feathers oh it's all very simple the first actor's mask is determined by uh, well i will lend you the program guide but tell me did you enjoy the performance sure that was one of the greatest things i've ever seen truly that part with the glittery and they actually set fire to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal! <sighs> okay. All right, let's see who else is left. Have we talked to everybody now? Hopefully. Blackwall. Who else? Varric. Cullen. And Liliana. So we got to get to Cullen somehow. If we go down this side of the stairs. Okay. Nice chatting with you, Josephine, and your weird party you wanted us to go to. Hey, Sunny. How you doing? How was your day? <laughs> Just got on by, huh? Your day went by too fast? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's cold and rainy. Kind of stinky weather. I didn't know it was supposed to be like that today. Man, that is one big dog. It's a dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. All righty. Oh, um... I had a, the internet crashed a little bit and I had to start up again. 
So I did come on at four. We fought the last, the big fight, and a bunch of other stuff. And now we're in the finish the game, and now we're in the the final DLC. So we didn't miss too much. Probably dropped some folks, but uh, hopefully they'll find their way back. Tire of you with that positive attitude and fetching ability. <laughs> He's not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, I think he likes me. Something tells me you've never had a dog before. <laughs> not since I was a child. The Circle wasn't keen on pets, especially Kirkwalls. But Skyhold... You can have him. Take him home with you. The will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. <laughs> Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. Well, thank you. I can't imagine the Inquisition without you. I am honored, and likewise, Inquisitor. He is a cute dog, isn't he? <laughs> you can help. Dodge this, and I'll find over Trist or Lizzie's dog tree. Wait, we got some. Maybe that's why the collectible is dog treats that we've been finding. All right, we got to talk to, and then here's Liliana. Hopefully, we can get out of here without added assistance. I think she might be the last person we have to talk to. All right, let's take the thing off of her before we get over there. Since it keeps showing up in the cutscene. There we go. Will you walk with me? You bet. We went to the opera with Josephine. The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. And that makes you sad. It is easier on the heart to just see gilding. Now all I can see are the knives in the shadows, the poison in jeweled goblets. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Have we not made enough allies? If friends were easily made and kept, we wouldn't need diplomacy. Yeah, it's been but two I years since we saved the world. I guess they forgot about the that. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. When the time comes, consider giving them what they want. Okay. I've thought about it. Ending the Inquisition wouldn't be so bad. Oh, that's what they want? Stand. <laughs> they cannot act against what they cannot see. Publicly, I will of course retire from this life, as one would expect. Let them think they've finally won. I shall take up charity work, become a patron of the arts, as all respectable women of my age do. And perhaps take on a protégé. Our work never ends, Inquisitor. We just need fewer witnesses. Aha! So that's a possibility. Okay, evidently we have not finished this yet. I thought we talked to everybody. Who's left? Didn't, it didn't uh, mark that off on our quest list. So there's Cullen. We just talked to him. We talked to Varric. That's Josephine. Sarah and Bull and Cole. And Blackwall. Well, we've talked to everybody that's on the map, so 
If they don't want to give us credit for that, we don't care. So one of these is the ambassador. Speak with the Orlesian ambassador. Oh, okay, so we're going to talk to both of these guys. I wonder why it didn't give us credit for our speaking to our old friends. I wonder who we missed. Let me see if there's another layer to the map. Nope. I don't know. Speaking to Bull was a little bit strange. I wonder if that one didn't, didn't get the, we didn't get the credit for that one. Ole is on your side. Oh, here's Dorian. The Inquisition support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't Two actually years. tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. You arrived ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward <laughs> for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Good, because we're going to need you if we got any fighting to do in this DLC. Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is the good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. Well, thank you. Like, dang, it really bothers me to catch up with the old friends thing. Since I spent all that time doing it, I hate to not get credit for it. But I'm not sure what to do about it. this guy divine victoria am i interrupting not at all oh look the at cassandra red <laughs> was telling me of events in denarin he represents ferelden at the summit inquisitor good to meet you how are things in redcliffe my lord we still come across scars left by the venatory but the land continues to mend Good to know. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. I am supposed to be impartial while speaking for the Chantry, but I confess that neutrality is beyond me. I may be the Divine, but I will always be your friend. And I can hardly ignore the fate of the Inquisition that I began. <gasps> when world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. Look at that guy with his concern. face in the wall behind the Inquisition us. Inquisition is still needed. Some delegates do not yet understand that. I must attend to other matters. If you need me, I am ready to assist. Unconditionally. Okay. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. The Inquisition has grown. I can see how its presence might cause concern. 
Then you understand why we must demand a reduction of your military forces. A power without allegiance to either Ferelden or Orle. Even I see neither of our countries can let it rest. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Dang, I was hoping that talking to Dorian and Cassandra would finish that uh, talk to old friends thing. So where am I now on the map? Man, I hate to run around and talk to everyone again. It seems like I already did that. All right, I'm going to fuss about it probably, but I'm going to go ahead because I don't want to do that again. Or any more. It would be even worse if I ran around and talked to everyone again and it still didn't clear. So, oh, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Wait, oh, I did put a flag there, didn't I? Where is it? Hey, Cullen, let's see if he has anything else to say with his doggy friend. Be careful, Inquisitor. We have a ways to go yet. Okay. Here we go, beginning the Exalted Council. Get on with this DLC. Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns. The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized the Ceronach in Crestwood. Our goal was to keep more Ferelden citizens from dying, not to seize power. Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same Strong thing. Strong words with the Grey indeed. In their ranks. Your concern is ill founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course, Orle tolerates this interference. <laughs> the Inquisition is the only reason Selene still has the throne. Some things but never change. Even, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Sister Leliana asked to speak with you in private. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montelier, can you handle this for a short while? I... of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. <laughs> are we not even worth the Inquisitor's time? Pah! No, you are not. Sniveling politicians. What has happened? What's going on here? Inquisitor, I thought you would want to see this. Uh-oh! A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? So... What would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Hmm. Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. He says that if this were an official canary operation, he would know. 
that suggests we're dealing with a rogue. So maybe this is going to be a Canary. Uh, we need to find out what heavy DLC, which would be sort of cool. While I look around, she will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days, anyway. I will ask Divine Victoria to call a recess for now. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. <laughs> okay. Yay, we get to get out of the council and do some stuff. <laughs> okay. So we're looking for some blood trails. Outside. Got some big music playing. Oh, here we go. So I guess this is... We're going to follow the blood trail of the Canari... Dead guy there. It looks like he came down over the railing. Does it look like that? I've already lost the trail. Gonna be another dog bone. Such a silly collectible. Hmm. So we. Is this part of it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, those were our... Did actually highlight up our blood trail. So that's good. Since it's kind of hard to see. Okay. That seems like that's where it ended. Oh, climb. Okay. Oh, there's a big splodge of blood right there. How could I have missed it? Okay. I wouldn't think that big these lattice would uh, would support that big guy. <gasps> uh oh. Do we think someone in the palace killed him? That would not be good. Time, always time to loot. Yeah, we don't really need any of those things. Oh, is there a person in here? Oh, not in here, maybe. Follow the blood trail. Wait, so can we call our people then? She said if we're not if I'm going through it, I'm not going alone, but then it doesn't seem to give us an opportunity to get our guys together. I guess we are going alone. Oh, here we go. Can we get Cass take Cassandra? And we'll take her. Oh, and now he's Tom Rainier. <laughs> uh oh, what's going on here? The crossroads. Morrigan brought me here while showing me the alluvians. Nito. 
We still got all our dragon stuff on, I'm assuming. Not sure that's what we need. Judging by the blood stains, he tried to get through here. Is there a problem? This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem like a good idea. To bail over the edge. Well, the blood seems to go right here to the mirror. So, a way to unlock it. Seems a bit of a long way down. Let's see what the map shows us. Virtually nothing. Oh, maybe we can go down that way. Okay. Wait, we're going the right way? Let us see where this Kunari came from. Yeah. Wonder what we're going to find in here. I haven't watched any of this DLC and I haven't I'm not sure we're even in Ole anymore. looked up or read anything because I wanted it to be a surprise. Whatever happens. So I'm completely unprepared for what we're walking into. Oh, here's another dead guy. Another Kuhn. Another Kunari. Dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's part of their military. Dressed for war. Okay. Can't go there. Oh, there's another mirror in there. But we can't get in there, evidently. What about over here? Hmm. Seemed like maybe there was a door back there. Maybe not. Okay, onward. Ooh, where are we? Ugh. Well, that startled me. Look at this guy all fried. Scorch marks everywhere. This is the work of a mage. A powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. Uh oh. Find out why these Kunari were here and who did this to them. Hope it isn't gonna be Solas, otherwise known as Dreadwolf. Alright, here we go. What does our map look like? Like nothing. Okay. Alright, here's at least some alive people. Over there, Kunari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. Okay. Oh, here's another mirror. Kind of interesting, all these little uh, uh, Mira things. All right, I think we're going to have a fight finally. It's probably the longest we've been in this whole game without having a fight. Use the Alluvians to find a way to the island.
What does it want? Lubenas Menahelad. Dirth Velasama. We're visitors. We didn't mean to disturb you. Virthama. Nadinan Salim. I guess, uh, yeah. We don't have our trespassy stuff on. I mean, our, like, I don't know what, spirit. Hey, TK! Nice! So you're ready for Walking Dead now, huh? I'll be, uh, I have to say, I won't be sorry to be watching a game you're not playing. I mean, that I'm not playing. So I won't have to worry about spoilers. So we are, as you can see, just finishing up the, uh, well, I don't know, how long is this? I'll ask you that while you're here. How long is this DLC? More or less. Hey, I have my, uh, my cover deal on. You shouldn't be able to shoot an arrow at me from that. This dude is armored up, big time. Here, Dorian, you can bask in my health. Although I suspect that he's healthy anyway. I don't think anyone's hurting him. Oh, okay. So that's more than I thought. So we'll be a we'll be a, a while more at it then. All this chitty chatting at the beginning of it made me feel like maybe it was just sort of all cutscenes and you know whatever, not not really a serious a serious one. Oh, come on, buddy. Dorian, you got the dispel thing, man. Why don't you use it? gonna armor up one more time before we're done I'm guessing there we go down he goes well we didn't use any of our potions our spirits considered us intruders it must have been set to guard something so we killed it Oh, where are we? I thought we were on the island. I guess we're gonna zip around the uh, different mirrors. It's kind of a cool place. Wolf's welcome. Powerful magic carries an impression of welcome. Images flash by. Elven slaves fleeing to this place in ancient times, greeted by others who then tend their wounds. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fenharal you, bids you welcome. Rest, knowing the dread wolf guards you and his people guard this valley. In this place you are free. In trusting us, you will never be bound again. Okay, so as we recall... The dread wolf is Solas. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. We're gonna go in there in a minute. I just want to look around. Sanctuary created by the dread wolf Fenharel. We'll come back. The Dalish elves' god of misfortune. Listen to Blackwall. What? Okay. Too bad we're not here at night. We could come back when it's dark, use the stars to see exactly where we are. Uh, okay. Uh-oh, the door closed! Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute. Okay, well, I don't... Huh. Uh, Cassandra is the divine. 
Although she is here actually fighting with us. And I have to say I wasn't aware that I was making her the divine. I uh, was afraid I was going to have to make a choice. And I didn't realize I had. Till you just now asked me who I made be the divine. I thought it just happened. <laughs> All right, I don't know about this purple fire. I don't really want to walk through it. <laughs> I mean, there was some conversation about that, but... All right, for science, we're going to go through the purple fire. It killed me. One does wonder how I'm going to get out now, though, huh? Let's find where this battle began. A letter by the Kunari. Why are they translating it? <laughs> right. Oh, nice. Oh, at the cost of a large amount of health. Well, we may not be using that belt then. I'm not big on that plan. Oh. All right. So I guess we better health up before we go back through because evidently it's going to kill us. Oh, I guess I didn't need to take another one. Well, that was a waste. Oh! Okay, well, that was a big waste of health potions. All right, well, it was for science. Now we know. And we got some loot. Even if we didn't really want the loot. All right, where's... Did we lock the door back up again? That would kind of stink. No. Okay, here we go. Back into the mirror. I mean, we had to go through there, right? Oh, well, that's good. Okay. Only took us a short distance. That's the same lake we saw from the other tower. Has its uses. Move a lot of soldiers around quickly that way. Well, except they'd have to go through the mirror one by one, so it wouldn't be all that quick. Look, this looks kind of like a rune. It's a dragon. That's pretty cool. Use the Alluvians to find a way to the island. Look, there's a picture of Solas. We just don't know it is Solas yet. Oh, dead guys. Wounds on the back. No blood on his sword. Someone took him by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry. A wash of powerful magic carries a pang of hope. Images flash by a man in wolf skin standing with a group of freed slaves clasping one's arm in friendship. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fen Haral has been falsely named a god, but it is as mortal as any of you. He takes no divine mantle and asks that none be bestowed upon him. He leads only those who would help willingly. Let none be beholden but by choice. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to run around the outside before we go in. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. Fen Harel sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. We don't know that it's uh, Solas yet. Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. <laughs> Strip what? Terrible stuff. Looks like grass, stings like a knife, and causes sores if you so much as brush against it. So, of course, everyone in Manrathus insists it makes a very decent tea. Uh, yeah, it's a weird way for us to t have to talk to them, to just have those little talking places, instead of just letting them speak. That's cool looking. Oh, 
Oh, here's another dead guy. Remember the Coon and the Elves were having a big fight down here? Bit of a mystery. A wash of powerful magic carries a sensation of bitter fury. Images flash by. Elven mages enslaving tens of thousands. Wow. Uh, I'm good, Sticky. How are you? We are in the we're in the Trespasser DLC, having finished the dark, uh, the deep roads and the main quest, making arrogant proclamations of godhood. Words are not so much heard as felt. The gods, our Evenuris, claim divinity. Yet they are not but mortals, powerful in magic. Oh my gosh, you're at work late. Who can die as you can. In this place, we teach those who join us to unravel their lives. It's like 8.30 where you are, huh? Elven gods were just Evanuris, powerful, but completely mortal mages. Almost like these slaves were being untaught what they'd learned, being formed into a rebellion. If that's true, then Harel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. <laughs> Uh, with Corypheus, it went, it was pretty easy, actually. You know, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot more cinematic than actually fighting, so we didn't really have any trouble. We're pretty leveled up for it, so, yeah, it was, it was cool to watch. It wasn't much of a fight. I thought it would be harder. Uh-oh. The anchor now automatically generates focus over time. Discharging the anchor makes your party briefly invulnerable. L2 and L3. Oh, God, I'm never going to remember that. Oh, wow. That is a, that's a challenging shift. Do you always work that shift? The anchor also glows brightly for a short time, hiding dark, oh, lighting dark areas and revealing objects. Ugh. Okay. Are you hurt? Like the anchor stung me. Okay, so how am I supposed to know when that is L2, L3? Oh, okay. And then we can see what we're doing? Is that the idea? Yeah. To use anchor discharge as a light source. Okay, so why did we come down here? Oh, take whatever that was. Looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. Oh, now we're going to fight in the dark? Great. Oh, intentionally. Well, that's not so bad. If that's what you like, then that's what you should do. That's good, then. Nicely, these guys are lighting us up so we don't have to do it ourselves. I don't know why you spirits are mad just because we're stealing your stuff. Oh, nice. That's good. Many, many years ago, I um, worked baggage service at the El Paso airport. And I worked the night shift a lot. I kind of liked it. Definitely a whole different feel to it. These guys are a little bit tougher than our previous uh, 
opponents. Took me two tries first thing today to That's fine, TK. Thank you for dropping in. I am so glad you finished it, and I'm looking forward to watching you play The Walking Dead. Took me two tries today to finish the uh, Deep Roads Big Boss, but once I understood what I was supposed to be doing and had everyone equipped properly, it wasn't too bad. Nothing like what is open. I mean, what isn't open? That used to be open. Okay, is that all of them? Good. Any loot down here? Return the weighted statue to the bridge. Okay. Oh, that's interesting, really? I mean, all, all in Houston, it seems like everything's open again. And right, I'm trying not to use my thing again. Maybe I, maybe I, it doesn't matter if I do. I don't know if it's like my anchor power where I can only use it periodically. And then I don't want to discharge it. But I don't want to run around in the dark either. Okay, where is this weighted, this bridge of which you speak that this thing fits on? Uh. Well, I can see the stairs down there, but I didn't right away see them up here. Oh, here we go. Three AM. Well, not being a night owl, I have to say I cannot speak to that. Uh because I'm usually asleep by then. <laughs> well asleep by then. <laughs> oh, okay, I get ya. And like the twenty four hour groceries and stuff like that that or used to be twenty four hour groceries. That I have to say, I, I was not aware of. That that had, had not come back. Okay, we're not going through there again. What is this over here? Did we look at this? I think we did. That one's not working anyway. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know how it is here to tell you the truth about that. Probably not, since Texas is a state that has decided to pretend it never happened. There we go. Now we can get across. That seemed like a lot of work. Get the bridge open. you guys somebody explain to us what the heck do we need a supply cache not really does that mean there's gonna be another big fight over here I'm gonna have to remember it was there oh now we're gonna fight the canary I thought we were making contact with them why are we fighting them they're our friends what if we brought iron bull with us for heaven's sakes What's happening? Why are we fighting the Canari? Oh. 
Here comes some more. What do you think, Dorian? Should we just hang back? Wait for him? Oh! They wailed on us. Of our shield. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. Kind of getting our ass kicked a little bit here, aren't we? Oh, I'm dead again. I think I've got clearly, I have Dorian giving us the, uh, with the revive going on. There he goes. I mean, I don't want to waste it, but I don't really need it. That's not the potion I need. I need my regen potions restocked. All right, make contact with Kuhn to find out what the heck. Thought they were our friends, our allies. Oh, did we have some loot left behind? I guess we didn't loot at all, did we? Oh, that's the potion. Okay, what's on this side? Oh, you know what? There's another... Um, what are we... Oh, it's just blood. There's another one of these spirit dudes up here. We've got seven potions left. I just need to remember that we gotta run back here if we do get into a dire situation. Oh, we got a whole bunch of spirits back here. Let's do this part. We're getting relatively close to our end time. So we'll try to wrap this part up. Is shooting me from back here. Dorian, surely you're not shooting me in the back of the head, are you? Oh, it's this dude. What the heck? We're gonna go stand over here while we regen. Because that guy is throwing darts at us like we are throwing darts at him. What's up with that? Cancel, cancel. We don't want it. We ain't done none of that. We're not in that much dire straits. We are fine. It's just time consuming, that's all. Oh, look, this guy's armored up. That's one of the spirit dudes. Right, let's see if we can get a better angle. Oh, there's another one up here. Maybe we go after him instead. Are we doing anything to that guy? There we go. Let Blackwall and Cassandra fight the armor guy and Dorian and I will fight this guy. We're getting him. We've almost got him. Search for more information about the hostile Canari. So I guess the fight was the making contact with them. Boom! Is he down? Yes, finally. Oh, he fell off. Cool. All right, let's get this guy. We'll help now.
Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Wow. That guy was holding on. All right. Now we have to have a little uh, search. What is this? Oh, it's a, just a ladder. Well, I wouldn't be sorry to be not having quite so much looting happening. All right, what's our dealio? We still just got seven, so... I mean, we still have seven, so I guess we didn't really need that potion refilling. Although it sounds like we got more fighting happening. Search for information about the hostile Kinari. And they're everywhere! Got one of these guys again. Throwing whatever he's throwing at me. Come on, Dorian. I think we should go down. Help out. Just not get too close. Is there another armored up guy? I'm very curious about what the story is going to be about this. I'm, I'm anxious to get the fighting part over so we can get to the searching for information part. Just from a story perspective. black wall. He jumped in just as that guy was about to get me. Up. Okay, we're almost got these guys out. Well, there's ones running away. I guess we're not quite ready yet. We're not quite done yet. Oh, there goes Cassandra and Blackwall. Let's see if we can cheese this guy. What is this guy doing? Oh. Ha! Oh, he's blocking us. Okay. Yeah, you guys go over there and fight him. Did you finish that guy? Okay, now he's done. Okay, come over here, Blackwall. Help Cassandra fight this guy. Well, she doesn't need any help. Well, maybe she does. I don't know, Dorian. I'm not sure we're doing a great job from down here. Yeah, I think we gotta go up. Oh, Dorian came back down. Let's see, maybe we go up this side and shoot across from this side. That would probably be better than all four of us on that little tiny platform. Just about got him. Then we'll have to check our potion thing again. Look, there's that big purple barrel of... Yeah, now maybe we need to go out and... 
Kunari never act without orders. A commander in the Kun must have given them. Are you saying the entire Kunari nation wants us dead? Well, that would be at bad. Last, the Inquisition and Tavinza have something in common. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to run back, get the potions before we come forward. It'll just take a second in case we have another big fight like that. And then we'll come back. We're almost out of time, but I really want to get this information. Uh, where was that potion thing? I'm really pretty curious about this deal. All right, where is it? Right behind me? What? Of course, now I can't find it. <laughs> Where's that potion box? Dang it! Oh, here it is. Okay, let's go. Let's run back, you guys. Come on. Look, our, our hand is all glowy now. I wonder what happens if we don't make our fireball thing. And I wonder what's going on with that purple fire popping up out of there. Like, I wonder if we had to go in there and find it. Let's go look. Like, they killed us last time. Mage fire. Eh. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't think we're going to go in there. Even for science. <laughs> All right, let's find out what the heck is going on. The dread wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. The dread wolf. Dorian, could you assist with this, please? Where are you, Dorian? Compared to where we are. Okay. Hopefully there's not some sort of puzzle here where we're supposed to be lighting them in a certain order. Wait, hold on. We'll come back to that. Let's get all these things lit. Oh, maybe that was all of them. All right, then... Oh, maybe it has to be Dorian with his... Veil fire torch doing the examining. That's Van Harel, removing the face markings from a Dalish elf. Hmm. These ruins are older than the Dalish. Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning. Maybe so. Weren't there two examined things? Okay. Oh. Oh, so that's just the veil fire that's lighting up there. So what are we supposed to be seeing here? And, oh, press. <clears throat> oh, that put the fire out. Okay. Probably got to do them in order by the pictures, maybe? Let's see. So we got the 
these two guys talking to the dread wolf. And them getting their Dalish elf things off. While these guys watch, I guess. And then we got, do we got the same thing over here? Yeah, so the picture is exactly the same on both sides. So that doesn't really help as a clue. I don't think. Well, now that we got a puzzle, I'm kind of thinking, and it is time to stop anyway. Let me grab a save. And let's see uh, who's on, if there's anyone we want to raid over to. Too, I'm too, uh, I eat my dinner after the stream and I'm too hungry to stop and think about this puzzle. I could have kept fighting, but, <laughs> but puzzle solving, I have to be a little bit more aware of what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going to raid over to Daco Giver. He is playing uh, Val... It's called Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. This was a game I had no idea what it was, and I was planning to go over and watch it so I could see what he was doing. Uh, he's probably lurking over here, too. So we'll go over there. You guys, thank you so much for, for watching and uh, hanging with me during this journey of Dragon Age Inquisition. Be back on at 7.30 tomorrow morning with uh, Spirit of the North and at 4 o'clock this afternoon right here in this exact place to play some more Dragon Age and find out what's going on in this very last uh, DLC of the game, right? So let's get ready to raid over to Daco and give him our best um, Game Rat welcome over there. Need about two seconds, and let's go. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.